congratulations about today. Um, how does it feel seeing, you know, not just this big opening to the building, but to see everyone who came out in support of it? Well, you know, 13 years ago when we were talking about this idea of the organization, we knew we can't do it by ourselves. So there's going to be lots of people involved in helping us. But now, when I think about it, there's so many people put so much energy and effort to make it happen. And I really don't know how to thank them. Without them, it's, it would have never been possible. So I wish we, we have everybody standing here and helped us. You would be amazed how many people put in an effort to get this organization going. Especially, you know, it's not an art museum. It's not a gallery. It's not a theater. It's just so vague, trying to support and promote creativity. Uh, at the beginning, it was really hard to, people say, what's that mean? It was very hard for us to let them even know our basic concept. But when you try long enough, people start understanding. Not to know everything is fine. That's the base of creativity. You know, if you know everything, you don't have to create anything. So that's the interesting thing to learn from, not to know everything. That m makes your life more exciting. Has the process of the 13 years and counting of the Kaneko space, um, what lessons have you guys learned from it in those 13 years? I mean, to me, appreciation of people's willingness to share the idea. You know, we as an individual, everybody has a different background. We grew up different way. We have different concept. So usually we have a pretty good distance between ourselves as a human being. But more and more you communicate with these people, that gap between the people gets shorter and narrower and then becomes almost one. Then we got it made. But how to make that gap smaller is, a, I think, a cre creative idea. And then creativity is interesting tool to make people come together. So that's, that's what I think. Yes, the spark of ideas and the sort of continuity of, of curiosity. And uh, you know, we, we feel very strongly about our Great Mind series where we do lectures to the public and uh, you know, try to bring something new to our community. And so with these thematic exhibitions throughout the six different spaces, really uh, allow people to go home and think about it or you never know when it's going to hit. You might get a creative spark idea right away. It might come in three or four months, maybe next year. <laughs> but I feel that we are putting out things that entice people to be more creative. Take me back to the day where the idea came to have a space like this. Because it is such a vague idea. It isn't a theater, it isn't an art gallery, it's yeah. a stereo. Well, thing. original idea came pretty uh, natural. I didn't think about what I'm going to do. It's going to you be know, a studio. All of this building was supposed to be extension of my studio. My studio is across the street and then I knew sooner or later I would need more space. 
So I started to purchase this building across the street. It took about six years. Yeah, we bought this one first, and then we bought the Cornbelt Automotive Building, which used and to be the Fairmont Dairy. And then little property in the back. Mm -hmm. It's uh, actually three separate property. And then that was the idea of making my future expansion of my studio storage space. Mm -hmm. But I was moving so slow at that time me late uh, early 90s in old market around here nobody was here so but by the time i was ready to expand my studio maybe two early 2000 place became really active and if i did use the space as a storage space for my studio. It's not open to public. The whole block will be blocked out. And then uh, I started to feel a little guilty about using it for my personal use. And then I thought maybe I could do something with the space. I always thinking about it. I almost have an obligation to return what I have to the people in this country. Because when I came to U.S. 1963, uh, I was 21. I didn't know any English. I didn't know anybody. I just came. And then I ran into one couple helped me nine years, made sure I have enough food, I'm doing what I need to do. So having that kind of experience, I didn't know them, but they did support me. And then gave me a really strong impact about the people. So since then, I always thought if I had a chance, I'd like to return something to the people in this country. And then later on, when this building came up, I thought this might be a good chance to do something. Then what, what am I going to do? There are lots of things you could do with the empty building. So I thought maybe since I've been doing art, creativity might be the uh, most familiar subject. But I wasn't just interested in art. It's all creativity, science, business, and uh, something Maybe we don't even know what to call it. So primary, no label. So I said to Lee, what do you think of starting some place which support and promote the creativity all the way close? So that's how I actually started. And, and Jun had been keeping a lot of his, what he felt are very special pieces to him mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason. Uh, and so we had a large collection of his work also, which he felt could have a home here within a collection building. Not a museum concept, but a, more of a collection study building. Um. Why is it so important, as we look now to the future for Kaneko, mm -hmm. for it to still maintain that open-endedness, right? Because, I mean, people could easily, you could start to label it as, oh, well, it's an art gallery. It's a place where yeah. you yeah. go and you have yeah. classes, yeah. a lecture yeah. hall. Yeah. Why is it important to keep that open-endedness moving forward? Yeah, that, that uh, phrase, uh, open space for your mind, and often uh, 
sets people back a bit. They don't know what that necessarily means, but June often says it's just a place for you to come and experience something and think about it, you know, or you challenge yourself a bit, you know, or get a new experience. And I think that keeping it open is very important. And in a way, it takes a lot more effort to keep it open. Uh, if things were just standardized, you'd just kind of move it along all the time. But keeping it open always makes you reassess yourself all the time, which keeps you fresh, keeps you exciting. Yeah. Where do you see Kaneko going in the next 10, 20 years? I really don't know. You know, I don't do any of these computer and then technology stuff, and then it seems like uh, the, uh, it's more and more technological development is influencing our life and thought. So I know it's going to influence a lot, but because of that, I'm completely outsider. I don't even know how to turn on the computer. So in some way, I, I have no idea where it's going to go, but it's definitely going to start working with the technology development or working against it. If you do too much and there is some other question happens, and then so, but I'm not in the position of making good judgment on that. That has to be kind of the exciting part, though, too. I mean, your wheels could just turn with all the possibilities. And we have a very interesting creative board that actually helps us design programming and kind of pick out what we're going to do for the next several years, what we're going to focus on. And so uh, I think that's very important. And that's very, they're all around the United States and some other countries. And so they kind of are. You know, they're kind of like antennas out there finding out what's going on that's great and wonderful and how can we bring that to Omaha and how can we share that with the public here. Why was it so important, and I promise this is my last question because I've taken up so much of your time, to have something like this in Omaha? Because I have to imagine a place like this would definitely flourish in a New York or San a Francisco, Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. yeah, why have something like it here in the Midwest? Why is that so important? Well, that's because I moved here. I mean, I really like this city, especially people who live in the city. It's really friendly. You don't find that too often moving around different mm -hmm. part of the U.S. So that's one thing. And uh, doing something, obviously, you need space. space is pretty available here compared to New York or San Francisco. It's uh, just a completely different situation. So having that idea, we had to develop some place. Omaha was much easier. And then beside that, I, I think I decided to live in Omaha for most of my life. So that commitment well, helped, obviously, to make Kaneko as a permanent place. 